Welcome to JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be representing the isometric block in third angle projection. So the first thing we need to note is from our we'll start from our front view. Now how the height of our front view is 30 millimeter. So measure 30 millimeter indicated with a point, and then we'll project the point to my left also the length of the isometric block which is from our front view which is 60 millimeter so measure 60 millimeter and then we we'll indicate the point then we we'll project that point upward to hit our horizontal line over there and then from our diagram, we have 15 millimeter height, so we'll measure 15 millimeter. Then we indicate the point. Now we find out that we have 20 millimeter distance to my right, so we'll measure 20 millimeter. Put the point, and there's a slant line joining 20 millimeter and 15 so join them with a straight line now for clarity purpose to see our front view better we we'll outline using our pink pen Now watch properly. This is this, and then you can't see this, but you can see this, which is also this. Then we'll move to our side view, project a line to my right. Now from my side view, then that the length is 40 millimeter, so we'll measure 40 millimeter and then we we'll indicate it to the point. We project the point upward my horizontal line now given that this distance is 15 millimeter from here already we know that here is already 15 millimeter you can see here is 15 millimeter so we indicate to the point now moving through you can see 15 millimeter now from our side view we have 25 millimeter from the line of 15 millimeter so we measure 25 millimeter to my right then we indicate to the point we will then project the point upward to hit my horizontal line so automatically you can see the shape like an l shape and then you can see this slant height. You won't see it fully since you are looking from looking at it from the side view. You see a little portion of it, which is this. So for clarity purpose, we'll outline using our purple pen. Can see this and you can also see this so move to our plan now this is my side view and this is my front view it's my front view side view so move, we'll be moving to our plan for first we'll take our 45 degree set square 
and I'll project a straight line with a 45 degree set square. Project a straight line. Now we'll project, project that straight line. So we'll start from our side view and our front view to get our plan. So we'll project a side view up. Once it hits our 45 degree set square, our 45 degree line will, from that point it hits, project it to our left. Also, we project from our front view, the side, project it also. Now we're having a rectangular shape at the top for more clarity purpose. Let me use my green pen to outline that portion so that you can see very clearly. All right, so now from our front, from our plan, can see over here when you're looking at it from the top we we'll have 20 millimeter so you can just project this is 20 millimeter that is a spot project it upward also this is also the 20 millimeter from okay this is a slant point this is a 20 millimeter which is also hitting the remaining of these which from our side view, so we'll project it up, and then when it hits our 45 degree, we move to my left. See, it hits this point over here. So we'll outline using my green pen so that we can see properly, and then. This portion now finally you see this slant height this is it when you're looking at it from your plan this is slant height now this is your 20 millimeter you can see it over here now this is the remaining portion of the plan from this top and then this is this the slant height now from our front this portion this is it you can't see this but you can see this which is this now also from our side view also known as the end elevation you can see this which is this and then you see a portion of this going up which is this thank you for watching i still remain jc engineering and technical drawing don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel thank you